I guess I could have cared a little bit if I put maybe just some chapstick on my lips. Okay. <laughs> I guess that's better. What was I saying? Oh. people welcome back to my channel yoga and shenanigans this is Channing here so this video is for the community of people who hold the same feelings that I do about running the feelings of loathing of hating it like what the hell am I running for but what am I running from regardless I do not like running the world could be ending and I'm not gonna run from it. Michael Myers or Jason could be chasing me. I'm just gonna stand there. And that is how much I hate running. Oh no, Jenny, but cardio is so good for you. Yes, I am aware that cardio is so important. And there are so many ways for you to get your little cardio fix in. And it doesn't have to be running. There's cycling, there's swimming, so there are all these other forms of cardio, yes, that you can do. But I am here to offer you an alternative to get your cardio fix in, instead of... So, what is this little cardio fix for when you hate running, but you wanna get your heart healthy? Kick switches. So yes, I'm going to show you how to kick switch. Disclaimer. I'm not saying you're going to enjoy this more than running. You might hate both equally. But hey, it's an alternative to running and you get your cardio in. Let's go. All right, like I said, this is an alternative to running. You might not like it more than running, but it's another way for you to get your cardio in. And it builds core strength and arm strength. So you can start by standing up nice and tall in your Tadasana and just going back and forth, feeling the legs, feeling the legs connect into the hip socket, into the core, legs straight and strong, and letting it hover by the rooted leg. So you want to make sure that all of the weight is in the ball of your hand gripping with those fingers and you're going to start in your tabletop position having the shoulders over the wrist pulling the belly in to keep it engaged but i want you to before you start just extend that right leg back and think about locking out the leg engaging the quad so the kneecaps lift and then plugging that leg into your hip socket so your core has it. Not plugged in, plugged in. Not plugged in, plugged in. So for kick switches, you'll start your tabletop, pushing against the earth, and then inhale, rise, exhale, root to your downward facing dog. To enter the kick switch, you'll rise to your tippy toes in your downward dog and tiptoe your feet forward so your shoulders are over wrists. You're not sinking, you're actively pushing against the earth here, pulling the core in. Then inhale, lift the leg. And pause here, just noticing how this feels. Again, leg is not engaged here. Plug it into the hip socket, leg is locked and strong. And now it's engaged into my core. And then switch, feel the opposite leg. One leg will be your dominant leg, will be your power leg for what you will use to spring load and kick off the ground with. So you can start off with that leg, but it's good to do both. So find your downward facing dog, rise onto those tippy toes, tip them forward, bringing shoulders over wrist, pull the belly in and lift what leg naturally wants to rise. Plug it into the hip socket so the core has it. Knee is not bent. Leg is straight and strong. 
flexing or pointing through the toes. And then you'll start to spring load this bottom leg. This top leg is only moving because I'm bending the knee of the rooted leg. And then slowly push against the earth, pull the belly in, and you'll switch. So when you switch, the lifted leg wants to stay as straight as possible. You want to push against the earth, a deep inhale, exhale, spring load and switch. And that's all it is, switching your legs back and forth. And if you don't feel comfortable switching in the middle of the floor, please feel free to come to your friend Paul Wall or whatever you refer to your wall as. Keep pushing into the arms, not letting yourself sink. I told you your arms and shoulders and core is going to be highly involved too in this one. And also when you're kick switching, you don't have to kick high. So if you're afraid of going all the way up into a handstand, possibly toppling over, think about lifting a leg and only switching just a couple of inches off the ground. Feeling your belly draw in, hips over shoulders. And I promise you, you'll start feeling the heat quickly. You'll start getting hot and tired like 30 seconds in from just doing kick switches. So that is how you do a kick switch. Let's actually do a little kick switch flow. So finding a nice comfortable seat, sitting up nice and tall, a deep inhale through your nose, and an exhale out of your mouth. Inhale through your nose. Exhale, sigh. And one more, inhale through your nose. And exhale, sigh. So allow your breath, your pranayama, to just be your deepest, most fluid inhale and exhale that you have today. And I lift the hands, let's rotate the wrist one direction and then the other. Extend the arms out, stretching the fingers back. And then down. And sitting will be on our hands a lot in this practice, doing the kick switches. It's good to give the wrist some love before we start. All fours, hands and knees. Deep inhale, deep exhale. <sighs> inhale, find your cat pose, puff up in the shoulders, tuck the chin towards chest, pull the belly in and hold. Don't hold your breath, just hold the pose. And then keep holding your cat pose, but bring your gaze forward towards the top of your mat. Extend the right leg back, left leg back, finding your plank top of a push-up. Deep inhale, exhale, sigh. Then inhale, lift the hips, exhale, root to your downward facing dog. Releasing any tension in the neck, letting, be, letting the gaze be towards the navel, heels rooting towards the earth. Inhale, reach the right leg up. Keep the toes pointing down. And then exhale, hug knee to nose as you rock forward to plank. And then step that right foot between your hands, finding your crescent warrior. Knee over heel, back leg straight and strong again, plugging it into that hip socket. And then inhale, rise high, crescent warrior. Inhale, lift the arms in the air. Exhale, root the hands down to the mat. Deep inhale as you push, push against the earth. Pull the belly in and then hug that right knee to nose for three, two, one. Step it back plank. Exhale, downward dog. 
Inhaling through the nose. Exhale out of the mouth. Inhale the left leg in the air. Exhale. Hug it forward, knee to nose. Then plant it between your hands. Inhale, find that crescent warrior. Exhale, bring the hands down to frame the left foot. Lift through the hips, pull the belly in. Left knee to nose and hug for three, two, one. Step it back, plank. Exhale, downward facing dog. Then inhale, right leg in the air. Exhale, plant it between your hands, finding your crescent warrior. Now, if you need some support here, bring your hands to blocks to give you more space or books or whatever you have. But we're gonna do some jump switches. Deep inhale, lift through the hips, plant with the hands. Exhale, switch, left leg forward, and switch, and switch. And switch. Inhale, rise. Exhale, bring the hands down to frame the right foot. Extend that right leg back, three-legged dog. Then exhale, tiptoe. The toes forward. Preparing for your kick switches. Shoulders over wrist. Inhale, lift the right leg up again. And kick switch. And switch and switch and one more time switch and then slowly walk it back plank exhale downward facing dog deep breaths then inhale left leg in the air exhale plant it through inhale crescent warrior Exhale, jump switch. Switch, and switch, and switch. Plant the hands, extend that left leg back, three-legged dog. Tiptoe the toes forward. Preparing for kick switches, shoulders over wrists. Left leg lifts, and switch and switch, switch, switch. Extend it back, find the plank, exhale, downward facing dog for five, four, three, two, And one. And slowly lower your knees to the ground. Toes touch. Hips towards heels. And exhale. Relax in your child's pose. Whew. I'm already hot. <laughs> Excuse me. I didn't say this is any easier than running. Remember to stretch out your wrists whenever you need. But you can do that little flow for three to five rounds to get your cardio in, to get that heart pumping, and to get some healthy blood flowing in the opposite direction as well. If it's in your practice, you can use kick switches to float through to your warrior poses. I guess I'll try. like that or just do the flow I just gave you a few rounds so yeah kick switches yeah you're, you're probably gonna feel that in your arms definitely in your core because when that core is engaged when kick switching you'll find that your legs will start to have a cute little hover you can control the coming down back to the earth so 
But kick switches are what I do when I need cardio because I am not about to put on some running shorts and go run. I'm just not. And if I can't go skating, which is the other way that I learned I enjoy getting cardio in, I do this. I kick switch. But let me know how the kick switches go by commenting down below. If this worked out for you, you enjoy this more than running, then give a thumbs up to your girl. Also, please subscribe to my page. I'll be putting out more videos like this every week. All right, bye humans.